hey friends welcome back to my channel i hope all is well on your end so this is going to be my last video for 2020 thank you for all the views and support please continue to share my channel with your friends and stay tuned for more videos so on today's episode i have a perfect recipe that you can make for your new year gatherings it's also perfect for any celebration so we are making a triple berry cheesecake. So for the base, we'll need one cup of graham cracker crumbs. You can get graham crackers and crush it yourself into fine crumbs like this, or you can just get the crumbs on its own. One tablespoon of sugar and four tablespoons of melted butter. And for the filling, we'll need two blocks of cream cheese, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two third cup of sugar. And we're also making a compote with strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Okay, now we're going to prepare our crumbs for the base. We mix in our butter and sugar and we mix in until everything is into fine, fine crumbs. So I'll be using a spring form pan so that it's easier to take it out later on. If you don't have a spring form pan, you can use just any pan. Just put a parchment paper or, a, an, or an aluminum foil so that it's easier to take it out later on. But since this one opens on its own, I don't have to put any parchment paper. So we're going to pour our crumbs to our pan. And you can use your hands also. Or you can use the back of a cup to press it evenly. Okay, once it's evenly spread out, we're going to set it aside and we're going to make our cream cheese filling. Okay, we're going to start beating our cream cheese with our sugar and our eggs one at a time. We add in our sugar. Next, we're going to add our, our eggs, one at a time. Okay, it looks nice and smooth and creamy. As long as you have all the lumps out, that should be fine. Okay, next, we're going to set our temperature for 350 degrees. And we're going to bake our cheesecake for about 50 to 55 minutes. We're going to take our prepared graham cracker crumbs and we're going to pour it in. And you don't have to pre-bake your crust, that's okay. You can just pour the cheesecake all over and bake it together. It looks delicious already. Can't wait till I show you guys the final look. And just spread it nice and evenly all over. Okay, and stay tuned for the next result. 
Okay, while our cheesecake is baking in the oven, we're going to make our berry compote. So we're going to um, combine all our berries in a pot with one fourth cup of sugar and cook it on a low heat until they become soft and then we're going to puree it. And I'll show you how it looks like after it's simmered down and cooked to a low temperature. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, very hot and it's still steaming. So we're going to let it cool down for a bit and then we'll puree it more so that we'll have a um, smooth consistency. So I'll be using uh, an immersion blender or a hand blender, but you can use a food processor or a blender. Anything will work fine. Okay, once we cook down all the berries, we're going to let it cool down and puree it, and we're going to get this smooth consistency. And once our cheesecake is ready, we're going to pour down our berry puree on it. Just drizzle it all over. So you can leave it as is, just like this, but we're going to top it with more fruits. So I'm going to put all the berries. Okay, our triple berry cheesecake is ready. It looks amazing and it's going to taste great. I hope you guys will give this a try. It's perfect for any gatherings that you will have. I wish you guys a happy and healthy new year. Thank you for watching and see you next time.